taught me an elective in of German in seventh grade. I did a Latin elective in eighth grade, Latin one in ninth grade, and then math two in tenth grade. So I had it for four years. Coach Rice taught me in tenth grade for honors chemistry and eleventh grade for eighth grade. Well, I actually decided to take German because my mom told me to take German. She had taken German in um, college to read more science papers because they were all in like, German or something. So I decided to take German. And once again, I had not heard about this technique before then. But once I started having her, she convinced us to take Latin. And I loved having her as a teacher, both in the classroom and outside the classroom. So I decided to take Latin. And I went in Latin before, so it was a good decision. My first impression actually didn't come directly from her because when I got into class row and it had Professor Walsh, first name, and then Ray at the end, which I had no trouble with, but I thought, I don't want to mispronounce this. So I went to the principal office and I said, am I saying this right? I should be in my class and I don't want to embarrass me and her. And he went on and they said, yes, you said it right. kid in the class and probably the sweetest too. And I thought, man, I look forward to this. At first, I thought Coach Rose was really funny, but you can also tell that he's very serious about making us learn things and making it just easy. Uh, my first impression of Isabel was that she was very attentive. Uh, she had some very strong organization skills. Uh, she paid attention to all details. And she was very, very consistent in the part of Well, Alice McKinney was great in the classroom, um, like as a teacher. She taught me like half of the words I know and like half of the vocabulary because like, all words basically come from Latin. That's one thing she really ingrained in us. Her most impactful part of her teaching was outside the classroom. Me and my friends, we used to come to her in the morning and we would talk for like ever, like during office hours and just get life advice and she would like grade my papers. I used to be a horrible writer and she really helped me out me improving that and now that she's retired I still look at her like all the time she's been so involved in my college like application process and I've been keeping her updated and she's been absolutely amazing but I think one of the best parts of JA is not only do they focus on education but also on preparing you for life and I think it's communicates the teachings perfectly encapsulates that issue. I think Freya would agree that I feel like all my students are stars. They just shine in different ways. And Freya shone particularly bright on her ACT score. So that got her the capital S, capital T, capital A, capital R designation. But she was my star back in the second year. Well, this film is to be a star. She, of course, based on her merits uh, academically. Uh, she was going to get it anyway because she's just such a great kid. Uh, her work habits, uh, the way she carried herself. Uh, I mean, regardless, I, she was going to get it. I saw it coming.